know what I was doing. I, I mean, I do. I didn't turn my phone fast enough, and so it got stuck in one mode, and you can't switch it in the middle of the stream. So I am back now, and it's the right orientation, so I think we're gonna be good to go. I might just have to give people a little bit of time to, to get on. In fact, I'm gonna put this in my holder. Oh, sorry, you got a really close up view of me right then. I'm gonna put this in my holder, and then I'm gonna go over to Facebook and give people the link again, just in case that's the only way they get here. So let me turn you around. I'm gonna just put this in my holder, fix it so it's right. Orientation. All right, so we are gonna be doing this card tonight, um, but um, this is not a finished product. So uh, I just do want, I wanna make sure that this is just the sample that I had to put in my in my description uh, of the video so that you could see what we're doing. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Wow, well this is a fun, fun start to my night. I am so, so sorry. Let's see. I need to go over and tell people, get rid of this post that says where I am, and then make a new post to say, Hey, come join me here. So what did y'all do today? Make sure you're chiming in on the chat so I can know what you're doing. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna put that on there and now we're gonna post it. Okay. So everybody should be able to find me now. And I'm going to go there and see if anybody has found me now, besides myself. We're going to be playing with the Cheerful Daisies set. And I don't know if you know, but this is one of my very favorite sets. And I did not want to get this at first. It was... Um, it was just one of those like, eh, it's daisies. I've got plenty of flowers. But the more I played with this, the more I absolutely loved it. It is a really fabulous, fabulous stamp set. Uh, in fact, one of the cards that I made for my Tune In Tuesday class was made with that set. And so I just embossed some daisies. I stamped the leaves on the back side of the vellum. So if you did not catch Tune In Tuesday, you can go back and watch it. The class for Tune In Tuesday, if you would like the class card kit that will allow you to make two of this card and two of this card and two of this card and two of another card that I've already mailed because I needed a sympathy card, then um, all you need to do is place an order of $35 or more in my online store before Sunday at 7 p.m. So somebody is, has started watching. Uh, my guess is it's Sheila, but be sure to say hi in the chat. Just like I just did. And tell everybody where you're from. There are some people watching right now who aren't logged in. Uh, I'll probably give a shout out to my sister on that one. Maybe some others. I don't know because I can't see them. Uh, but... Um, we're going to be working on a card that looks very similar to this. This is just a layer. We're going to have a couple more layers to go with it, but this is super, super simple. So one of the things that we did in the Tune In Tuesday class was this card. And to create this card, I used painter's tape and I, I placed it across an ink pad, which picked up the ink, and then I placed it down on a piece of basic white paper. And I did that in Petal Pink and Daffodil Delight and Flirty Flamingo. And so then I have that cool little background for this um, stamp that is from Good Feelings. So we're gonna, since I had my painter's tape out, I thought, well, we might as well do another technique with it for tune in or for Friday Night Live. So I have a piece of 
basic white cardstock and it measures three and a half by four and three quarters. And these measurements will be going up on my blog. And what I'm going to do is kind of align this with this vertical line and so that I can see that the center right here is this, this line, this, the, this four inch line. Then I'm going to take a piece of painter's tape and I need a piece that is longer than the piece I'm working on. And then I'm going to de-stick it. Or I think as I said in my Tune In Tuesday class, de-stickify. Now I would put this on my clothes, like sometimes I'd put it on my clothes, but I have cats and my clothes are currently covered with cat hair. So I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do, this is one inch wide painter's tape. So I'm going to align this with the half inch mark on either side of that one inch line. And then I'm going to press down. Now the reason why you want to take some of the tack out of it is because if you're not careful when you pick it up, even though it is a low tack tape, it may tear some of your cardstock. So that's why I take some of that off. And I still will be very careful when I remove this. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to bring in the D Cheerful Daisies stamp set. And I'm only going to use a couple of stamps from here. I'm going to use this image right here, which is the more bold of the small daisies. I'm going to use this image, which is just a trio of flowers. And let's see, I am going to use a stamp set and I need my leaf. I think I must have put my leaf back because it's not seeing it out. So I'm going to need the leaf and possibly the center of the daisy. That's kind of optional, but I think it'll look good if I add it. So this painter's tape is now protecting that basic white cardstock that is underneath. So let's go ahead and get out my ink pads. And I have chosen Melon Mambo, Lemon Lime Twist, and Blueberry Bushel. And the reason uh, why I chose that is I kind of wanted a red and blue. It is Memorial Day weekend after all. This is not red, it's pink, but you know, it's kind of got that vibe. And when I was looking through my color coach, I saw this combination and I thought it just looked like a really happy, bright, cheery color combination. So that's what I am choosing to use tonight. And I'm gonna start with my daisy stamp first. I'm gonna start with the large, well, I'd say it's the larger, but there's not really much difference in, in size here. So I'm gonna ink it up in the Melon Mambo and I'm going to stamp partially on and partially off. You don't want to, you do want quite a bit hanging over just so you get the idea of what the stamp is. And you can vary the orientation of the stamp on your page. And I think I'm going to put a little bit over here and we'll call that good for now. We can always add more later. And oh, I see somebody else joined. Nice to have you with me tonight. If you were caught up in uh, my little debacle earlier of getting on in the wrong orientation, I apologize for that. Uh, this will be available on my blog shortly after I'm done. I'm gonna just stamp some of these flowers right here. Again, this is blueberry bushel. And I can see that I just lost some of my hair to that. I'm gonna stamp that right there. And now I'm gonna take my lemon lime twist. So blueberry bushel is an old in color and it made its way back because it was so popular. This really is a beautiful blue. It is a perfect blue for anything patriotic. And it's just it's just a lovely rich blue. And it's a it's a blueberry. It's it's nice. And then Lemon Lime Twist is also an old returning in color. And it's just got a, a fresh look to it. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some, a leaf right here coming in. 
Maybe I'll put a leaf right here. And let's see, right here. So you just put your leaves wherever you want. Ooh, I stamped in the blueberry a little bit. I think that blueberry ink was a little bit um, wet still, but look at it, it's kind of a pretty, pretty green. And let's put this here. I'm gonna put a couple of leaves here. And, oh, I, I know what happened, because I can see it now. When I stamped this leaf, it bled onto the papers, the painter's tape, and that stays wet. And so then it picked it up. I see what happened. Let's see, let's do a couple over here. So that looks pretty good, I think. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can take this little center piece here. I need to clean the back of my stamp before I get ink where I don't want it to be. I'm gonna take the leaf off. I can take the lemon lime twist and that can also serve as the center of my daisies. You could use a yellow as well, but this just keeps it to three colors. So there we go. Now I'm ready to move, remove my painter's tape and I'm gonna do it very carefully and here's a good hint, do it at an angle. So don't just try to tear it straight off and work slowly. There we go. And then you can discard that tape if you want. I guess you could clean it off and use it again, but that's not what I want to do. So now we can stamp a sentiment inside here. And I'm going to go with the wishing you the brightest birthday, nice bright colors. So that seems to be an appropriate sentiment. And let's go ahead and bring in the memento black. I'm just going to ink up this stamp. Uh, let's see how that's going to be. Uh, that's going to be good. Except it's going to be upside down, so we'll straighten it out. All right, I had to peek over my camera, which means I couldn't talk because I get really loud when I have to stand up and do it over my camera. So there, now we have just a nice little sentiment. You could have done that in the blueberry color as well, but I kind of like the black with it too. And then let's see how we're going to go ahead and decorate this card. I have some options. I think I'm going to use the Melon Mambo as a base. And my phone folder is... Um, not right here handy. It's probably packed for an event. So I could just do that, but wouldn't it be nice to layer it? And so I have a couple of options here. I've got the lemon lime twist, and I think that's the one I'm gonna go with. But let's see, we could do it like this on the blueberry bushel, because having a dark color base is nice. I don't like the combination quite as much. It seems so dark and heavy when it's on the Melon Mambo. But let's see what would happen if I took a piece of Lemon Lime Twist for my base. Oh, I kind of like that too. Hmm. I don't know. So the, pers the, per the person that, or people that I can see watching can you chime in on the chat and tell me which one I should go for? Should I go for the blueberry bushel layer on the lime? Or should I go with the lime on the melon mambo? That is a tough call right there. So I know that there's a little bit of a delay. So uh, while there's a delay, we can stamp the inside, but go ahead and if you can, chime in on the chat. And I will take, I'll stamp the inside while I'm waiting. So on the inside, let's go ahead and just put, let's just put a couple flowers or one maybe. 
So we'll put uh, we'll put one right down here. And then we'll get our leaf stamp back around and get our lemon lime twist. Okay, there we go. And we want our lemon lime center. There we go. Just a little something. All right, so I guess I'm not going to get a response. So it might be that this person, you know, they don't know how to um, find the chat, which I think if you're on a phone or something, you're just, oh, hi, Sheila. Sheila. Sheila's here. Sheila, happy birthday. It's Sheila's birthday today. So everybody sing happy birthday. I'm not going to because I can't hear any of you singing. So let's go ahead and go with, we're going to go with the Melon Lombo bass. How about that? We'll go ahead and we'll do the inside here. And stamp some other sentiment I'd like. And then on the front, we're going to mount our card here. Put that on a piece of lemon lime twist. So it looks like there's a strip of white cardstock covering up those flowers. So that's a faux layer. Um, instead of putting that just the way it is there, I'm going to go ahead and mount it with dimensionals. Dimensionals always make things a little bit more fun. Looks like I'm coming to the end of this one. I'm going to just put a couple extra in the middle. And we'll remove the backings. Sheila, I know you might have to get this set. I have honestly probably made oh, 20 cards, 20 different kinds of cards with this set. I really, as I was saying in the beginning, I really did not. I mean, it didn't do much for me when I saw it in the catalog, but this, it stamps really nicely and it has great DSP right now. So there we have a card. Now, if we wanted to embellish, we could. I have these glossy dots assortment and this pink in here is Melon Mambo. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or not. So I just have to play around and see. I have an idea. Let's see. Sometimes the slipperier ones are a little bit harder. So my idea is to do something like this with my dots. But do I want to do that? I think I want to go the other way. I didn't, I didn't press down very hard. So I think I want to do this. Go the other way. Go from small to large. Let's, let's see if I can do that. I have to adjust. I have to adjust the center one, I think. So we have something that looks like that. And then we have to do it on the other side, of course. And I know that the rule is you have to have an odd number. And when I get done here, I'm gonna have an even number. But if you think about it, I have an odd number on both sides. And it is creating a pattern. And it's drawing your eye in toward the sentiment. All right, so I need to straighten these guys out. And I'm not looking right over the top of my card, so it makes it a little bit difficult for me. In fact, I have to sort of look at the, the camera to see where I'm where I am. 
Meh. Can't get that one right. Oh, that's not bad. So there we have just some sweet little gems. I love these glossy dots. What's great about these glossy dots is they're not a very high profile. So they're very, they're not flat, but they are not a, a big bump either. So they should um, do very well in the mail. And they're very smooth and very glossy, hence the name. So there we go, there's our card. And you can stamp another sentiment inside or just write a nice note. So just a reminder that the deadline for signing up for the Cheerful Daisies class or stamp camp that I have coming up on June, 10th is the deadline is June 1st and some of the items are on low inventory. I think the dies for this are on low inventory. You don't have to have that as part of the stamp camp, but if you want, if for those of you who might be considering this, um, this will be around all year long, but obviously right now is we're coming into the, the flower months. And so um, I'm sure there's great demand and that's why some things are on low inventory. Um, the other part of this suite that is actually out, you can't order the suite right now because these are temporarily out of stock. And I think they're in at the the, the, next, the end of next week, maybe they should be back in stock. I'm not sure. But if you order just the bundle for the Cheerful Daisies and the paper, you can always add this later. These are nice gems, they do coordinate with the paper, but um, there are other ones I prefer, like the in color dots. So anyway, I'm gonna turn this back around. Ooh, let's see. Oh, look at you, watch me do it, watch me. Uh, so I have something coming up, some surprises coming up. For those of you that are on my email list, you will want to uh, watch for, a, for something coming up. If you're on my mailing list, you're my customer list, watch for something in the mail. I've got a surprise for you. But if you are on my email list, I your next email is going to contain a link to the color coach that you can download yourself. And you can either print them off on cardstock and cut them up like I did, or you can just use the sheets as they are. Lots of great color combos for every single color that we have current right now. So for instance, if you're looking for um, what to make with Tahitian Tide, because you love Tahitian Tide, here are a couple of options. And those aren't the only options. You can flip through and find Tahitian Tide probably on another card. I say probably, but I've, and I know it's true because I did, but of course I can't find one right now. Just flipping through one-handed. It's kind of hard to flip through one-handed, but there are some other combinations that you can find. So if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. My email is stamperhood at gmail.com. And I hope you all have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. For those of you who have lost family members, uh, I am truly sorry. And um, I hope that you find comfort in the memories that you share this weekend with those others that you love. Thank you for joining me tonight. And I will see you um, next Friday. Bye.